Okay, so there's this one here. Oh, very rarely I see her come out talks about anything but her work. Work meaning her, the project she's part on or whatever. I was very shocked and I follow her the moment that I saw it come on my timeline. Yeah, am I following her? Yes, I'm following her. When I saw it yesterday and I was like, what? She's talking about this? that it's very important there's some people who mind their business they focus on their work and that's it this is if she has done other things or spoke about certain things other issues i'm sorry i did not see it but this one is the first one that i've seen and i quickly bookmark it okay my ancestors say quote freedom ain't free you gotta stand up and protect it every day end quote standing with vice president president of the united states freedom to health for all women and girls the, actually that should have come after that uh, video at the beginning of this video where this uh, brit was saying his parents came from the caribbean he never felt brit okay you have to fight for it you have to fight for it you want something fight for it the same way the others want it oh, okay so let's listen i did not listen to it but the minute that i saw it and read some the caption usually when i bookmark something i read the caption if it's good caption and i kept it all right so let's listen a minute and 44 seconds it's been a year since the Hobbs decision came down from this supreme court and I remember the day I, I never thought it would come. I mean, we've been having the protection of the law, supporting women and their healthcare decisions for 50 years. And you know, every time you think something can't happen, that means you just have to stand up, be alert, mm -hmm. and, and move when it does happen. Yeah. I was mainly terrified for all the individual women and girls across the country who didn't live in a state like I do that that supports women's intelligence <laughs> their right to privacy so we have to we have to stand with our sisters people are hurting lives are on the line and it is unconstitutional so what we have to do is support president biden and vice president harris as they press congress to make sure that there is federal protection for women's health care rights we have to do this because it's only beginning the beginning of um the slide the effort mm -hmm. to minimize uh, to minimize the majority of americans so today just recommit yourselves and you can do any number of things you don't have to hit the streets but certainly talk to your neighbors talk to you there's the thing that i've been saying not everybody is into protesting you know make loud noise on the street and all of that not everybody's like that but there's other way let people see your neighbors understand what's going on those who's not paying attention this is why i do my channel okay i don't care what youtube do, does to it i really don't care anymore because I realize some, when I read some of the comments, many of you are busy. You don't have time. To, you want to support Harry and Megan, but you don't have time. You have bills to pay. And thank God I'm, I have the time and I enjoy doing it. And I see what's important. I grab all the important issues that I see going on on you on not YouTube on Twitter. Sometime on YouTube too, on Twitter and share it with you. This is the thing when it comes to sharing information and you understand the platform that you are, you have. I mean, I'm not that huge of a YouTuber, but the small minority of people who enjoy listening to my videos, I try to bring you the most important information. And then I insert my humble opinion, you know, so there she is here. She is saying exactly some of the things that I've said. You don't have to hit the street. You don't have to do a couple things. There's your neighbors who probably don't know what's going on. Inform them. Even if they're telling you certain books is not allowed. Guess what? You could buy the books yourself. They can't come into your house and tell you you can read that. Okay? Well, if you guys don't fight for certain things, maybe you will allow them to make laws to come into your house freely if you don't protect your privacy. All right, I'm going to move it back. I went off a little bit. Okay, let's do it right in the middle. Constitutional. So what we have to do is support 
President Biden and Vice President Harris as they press Congress to make sure that there is federal protection for women's health care rights. We have to do this because it's only beginning the beginning of um, the slide, the effort mm-hmm. to minimize uh, to minimize the majority of Americans. So today, just recommit yourselves and you can do any number of things. There it is. You don't have to hit the streets, but certainly talk to your neighbors, talk to your friends, petition your representatives. There it is. Stand up. Yep. It's the only power we have. Yep. And we can't let that slip away like Roe. Okay? See you out there. That's it. Many of us were too comfortable. And then it's very sad to see women. Some women are voting against their best interests. And they're teaming up with the men to destroy the rest. Okay? So let's read some of the comments. There's the heart. Okay? What... Okay, what are you smoking? This vice president is throwing women. Oh, please. Okay, they, they have to come and throw their nonsense here to distract people. Okay, I'm not even going to read it. Love you, Miss Woodard. Always have done. Okay, I love you. You are my sister from different parents. Okay, oh my goodness. You look wonderful. Pardon my enthusiasm, but I'm in love all over again. Okay, there's a heart. What she said. All right, so there's more comments. So let's move on. I'm almost an hour.